What is up everybody? Hey Jay here back again in another video. So as you can see the background at my or behind me is a little different because right now I'm at a hotel room nearby Sunway because today is technically day zero of course it can be taken for. Without further ado, I'm gonna take a short break and then we'll head over to the um, ticketing counter and grab my hands on the on the cosmic tickets. So if you guys enjoy the this video so far, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to start, subscribe for more of my future content. So without further ado, let's jump right into Cosmic 2024. Alright, so I managed to get my hands on this um, this cosmic, the three-day cosmic ticket which will happen tomorrow. What they did this year is a big improvement because last year on the first day when I came over to Cosmic, there was there was really no way of paying, um, of they of telling us uh, where to get this or uh, on site ticket unless you are you are on site. So this time they are telling us through social media that one week beforehand, if you want to purchase the tickets, you can head over to the Sunway um, the, the the ice atrium section. I forgot what's the official name. So far, it's a big improvement for um, Cosmic so far, and I definitely will be jumping right into Cosmic Day One at least. The first day of Cosmic Day 1 because I really, really want to go jump right into the main exit session with uh, Tsukuta Hinasan and discussing the fact that it's limited to 100 people. I think that's been a for day O. I, later on, I will be checking out the the Zenless Zone Zero special program at uh, once I head back to my hotel room. And in the meantime, will excuse me while I enjoy my taco, my lunch, which is a taco bell right over here. So, excuse me while I enjoy my lunch, and see you later at the new one. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Fighting straight. Yeah, yeah. Fuck right. It is exactly zone for one as you can see on my phone. And it is day one of Cosmic 2024. So right now I'm on my way to the venue. Today uh, is the day that I'll be meeting having the is the meet and greet session with Suruta Hinasan, who is known for being the voice of Kitagawa Marin from My Quest Up Darling. So as a matter of fact, right, I always treat a Whenever a voice, Japanese voice actress or voice actor comes over to Malaysia, I treat it, always treat it as a big deal because you will never know when these voice actors will come over here in Malaysia again. So, fingers crossed, hopefully there's not many people. If there's not many people queuing up at the venue, then it's secure because from what I heard, the meet and greet session is, based, is up to 100 people and it's on a first come first serve basis so hopefully I'll get when we'll head over to the venue and hopefully that's that's not many people if there's like a tons of people at 7 o'clock in the morning I am I might be screwed okay so good news I managed to get my hands on the, the postcard which costs like 50 ringgit so it, in, in, in which means right, I managed to secure my spot for the Hina, uh, Sukuta Hinasan Sami in this session and as a matter of fact right I think Yes, so, um, what's left is I'll just wait for the meet and greet session, which is at 5 pm. In the meantime, I'll be looking around um, the entire cosmic event and see what we have at this store. So, do stay tuned. I swear, if I see a Ryza Sigma, I will lose my goddamn mind. I should really check out near Autobada someday. And apparently there's a Dan 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 booth over here as well because from my understanding there's a special screening while we're here tonight I believe. And I believe yeah, and as you can see at the at the bottom right of the screen is really I believe it's sponsored by News Asia.
Okay, I think I pretty much finished looking around the entire cosmic event. And as a matter of fact, right, early on I was at the Ichikuban Kuji booth just to try my luck on the Oshinoko Kuji. And for 50 ring, 50 ringgit, I managed to get my hands on this um, Akane um, acrylic sand, which is not that bad to be real. Anyhow, I think I will continue looking around the, the, the entire area while waiting for the um, the main exit session. So we'll see how it goes. Alright dudes, I'm back at the hotel room after a long day one of Cosmic and first things first as I mentioned I managed to get the, the postcard but here's a magician it all it's automatically signed uh, with, with my old original with my real name on it let's talk a wee bit about the um, the meet and greet session the meet and greet session was supposed to take place uh, at 5 p.m but it was a little late for some reason because prior to the meet and greet uh, session with uh, Sugata Hina-san it was a meet and greet session with KLP48. Here's my criticism regarding the, the, the panel session. There's literally no gap. Uh, the KLP48 uh, meet and greet session starts from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then the Sugata Hina's meet and greet session starts at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. There's literally no gap uh, at all. Because here's the thing, during last year's comic, Cosmic, I'm sorry, Cosmic, where um, one of the, the Japanese guests is um, Igoma Yuri-san, right after her talk show at the, at the stage section, there was literally a one hour gap where the people who are eligible for the meet and greet session, including myself, we gathered around at the, the panel room, which is uh, one floor above the stage, uh, the stage area. So fortunately, there was there was space where we can just wait for wait until um, Iguma Yude San's um, meet and greet session begins. Personally, I feel like that 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 arrangement is much more better last year compared to this year, where, where what what really happened was it's already. Uh, where Sugata Hina's um, talk show starts a, a little bit around um, 3, 3 p.m. starts at 3 p.m. and then it, it ends around 4 o'clock each. So again, there was a there's a one hour gap which is good, but here's the problem. There's no space to wait for the mid English session with Sugata Hina-san. We will as because right the pathway from the stage to the panel room which is one floor above it's really block block then I asked the guys um, can we can we literally wait um, just right outside of the panel room they said no we are not allowed to enter the, the, the panel room until 10 minutes before the, the meet and greet session so what everyone did so there was literally no queue until like about 4.30ish where there was really quite a long queue downstairs to be honest right i didn't really like the idea of we have to there was really no space for people to um there's really no space for the people to wait for the upcoming meet and greet session so personally i feel like what this sh this is my personal right personal thoughts where i feel like every meet and greet session should have at least a 30 minute gap at the very least because having a meet and greet section back to back is kind of like this is this is not looking good and as a matter of fact right the Sugata Hina meet and greet session literally ended like what few minutes after 6 p.m and by the time we were done there was literally another queue for the next meet and greet session which is the at IT meet and greet session, Zhua Ye, which is a, I believe she's a cos a cosplayer from China. There was literally another another long queue downstairs. Personally, if you were up to me, right, I would rather have these dudes. Let them come upstairs, 
wait outside or what they can do is the meet and greet uh, for the three meet and greet sessions at the very least have a 30 minute gap that's uh, my criticism for for the panel for the for the for now other than that the, the event itself was kind of like uh, it, it, it was it was it was okay -ish. It was okay-ish. Well, as for the meet and greet session itself, it was it was alright. I mean, we were, when it was during my turn, right? I did uh, have a slight conversation with um, Subuta san but apparently she gave me a din. Uh, she apparently she interpreted my question a little bit different because what I wanted to ask her was, other than Kanizaki Atsumi san which. Sukuta Hinasan looks up to. Other than Tanizaki san, which other voice actor does she plans to collaborate or work with? But apparently, she imprinted it as um, other than the CE job, which other job you're looking forward to the most? Because I was speaking to her in Japanese, so there was a, there was a little bit of uh, misinterpretation, unfortunately. But, but fortunately, right, the. Because I just recently found out about the fact that um, the reason that she started voice acting is because of Gintama. And it just so happened, and this is just 1000% coincidence. I'm wearing my. And I'm not kidding you, I'm, just so you know, I'm wearing the, the, the day one cosmic. And, uh, and I'm not kidding you, I'm literally wearing a Gintama shirt. This is 1000% coincidence, okay? By the time she handed over this um, this card, and then she realized, oh, Ginchan. And I was like, hi, Ginchan. Yes. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> See, it was, still, it was a very fun interaction, I would say this. It was a really fun interaction that she recognizes that this, this t shirt that I'm wearing. That I got from Ami Ami uh, from Ami Ami for like what the past three four years, and I only wear this shirt only during ACG events. So yeah, well I think that's pretty much what I can uh, that's pretty much what I can talk about for day one. As for day two, to be real, right, right now I'm looking at the event schedule. I kind of want to check out the KLP uh, forty eight live performance. As a matter of fact, right, I just realized. The KLV48 has a total of three different uh, uh, having their life purposes on, on all three days, man. Like, holy crap! It's as though the main fo the, the main focus for this cosmic event are the KLP48. But I'll be real with you guys. The main reason I decided to come over to cosmic this year are two are two big reasons. Sugota Hinasan and Avangade where they will appear on day three. So day two I think I can come over a little bit longer and then just roam around a little bit and more but I'm not sure how the video is for day two is gonna turn out turn out though to be real. We'll just see how it goes. Anyway I think that's pretty much um, a wrap for day one. I'm gonna go take a break, have my dinner and then We'll jump right over to day two. All right, it is day two of Cosmic as um, I'm showing my wrist over here. But I'm gonna make a pit stop at um, Kinokuniya KFCC because, because I'm having uh, farming, we're roaming around there for just for a short while before I head, head over to um, Summit Premier Convention Center because to be real with you guys, it's pretty dry from um, day two. But I'll definitely we'll be checking out the um, the KLP 48 concert once I uh, once I'm head back to the Sunway Premier Convention Center. So in the meantime, I'll just head over to Kinokuniya located at KLCC. Probably buy some mangas and whatnot and we'll see how it, we'll see how things goes. So right now I'm over here at USJ Seven. So the idea is from USJ Seven I'll be taking a uh, the Kalana Jaya LRT from USJ7 all the way to KLCC which is right oh what the heck it is <laughs> just give me a sec because ah there it is all the way to KLCC right over here so it's gonna take like what 
USJ is stop number 31 like dude that's like what 10 that's like what 20 the 21 freaking stops that I have to go through it's gonna be a long ride at the LRT but but don't rest assured I still have time as a matter of fact it's like what, 10 o'clock right over here so this this is gonna be I, I have time no worries and I'm not even in a hurry to head over to day 2 of Cosmic so let's just see how, how this goes in the meantime enjoy the background music Kojima's favorite Bikuri's recoil. Oh look, one of the best enemy of all time, Driven. The manga's over here. And I believe the latest chapter is like what, chapter 13? Right me if I'm wrong. Well, well, what do we have from right here? Roshi Dere. And Roshi Dere will be ending in like what next week, from what I understand. Gimai uh, Sekatsu. And I have no idea what this is. And I believe this one entire shelf dedicated. I half a shelf to be precise, because the top right over here is basically um, Roshi Dere. And yes, the, the, the gremlin and then the stocking scene and I believe these are light novels on the top and then these are probably the manga and then at the bottom we have right over here Make Ine it's 4k right over here an entire shelf dedicated to Dragon Ball rest in peace Toriyama Sensei Specifically for Bochi the Rock, I should really, really check out Bochi the Rock someday because it's anime trainings, anime of the year for my understand. So I really should check the anime someday. But After one hour of filming at Kinofuria, I managed to get two items. So the very first item that I got is the, the Atelier Riza official um, the visual collection. And my goodness, this book is expensive AF, I kid you not. But fortunately, they have a 50% discount. So what I did is, other than I bought something else, which is the, um, the Fate State Night Heaven's View manga because the Heaven's View is Hands down, one of my favorite um, movies of all time. Anyway, I think I've pretty much done what I need to do here at Kinokuniya. I'm gonna take the, the LRT back to Sunway Lagoon. I'll have my lunch over there. And then jump right back, jump back in into day two of Cosmic 2024. It is 2.14.24, aka 2.24. It's over here at San Lagoon and as a matter of fact right, right now I'm having my lunch here over here at Taco Bell and in and I, from what I understand in about a few hours in two hours time at 4 30 the KRP 48 will be having a live performance at the Sunway Pyramid Convention Center so at the very least I'll be checking that um, performance out then after that I will probably roam around the event for maybe a like probably 30 minutes to an hour because like I said day two is to me, it's kind of dry from, from, from the way I see it, but at least let me check out the, the KRP48 performance. And in case you're wondering what lunch am I having as of this very moment, I'm literally having a burrito over, right over here, and then with some nachos. And I believe this is a, yeah, this is really Pepsi. Anyhow, excuse me while I have my lunch before I head over to the Sunway Film Center to check out the KRP48 performance.
I don't remember seeing you yesterday. I wonder how much this cost though. One thirty nine, okay. I'm back at my hotel room after a, a quite an eventful day too which to be I didn't expect to be very honest because I was expecting uh, day two to be quite a dry day but it's not to be quite an eventful day and as a matter of fact it's quite a painful day for my wallet as a matter of fact because I really went to uh, went to the event I believe I reached around there around 3 to ish <laughs> And supposedly the, the because I want to check out the KLP48 um, concert that because I'm just I'm just generally curious what this um, this up and coming new idol group is all about. So and apparently there was a delay because they um, right they need more time to prepare for the live uh, performance from my understand. Because originally their performance is at 4 30 but it got delayed to 5 pm. Because from my understand, they have a meet and greet session at like what? Hold on, let me have the description right over here. Um, they had a meet and greet session from 2 pm to 4 pm. And they were supposed to have a live performance at 4 30, but it got delayed to 5 pm. So, because they, they say they needed more time, so okay, fair enough. So during that time frame where I was waiting for the kid, the, the live moments, I was roaming around, and little did I know I had to, I ended up spending another um, maybe hundred ringgit each because this figurine really caught my attention. I already bought an Atelier Riser um, figurine that costs about hundred and thirty ish, and it's original as a matter of fact, it's original because there's the. The dude said it, the, this figurine was released um, two weeks ago and I, and I was like, well, you know what, I see crazy the fact that I really, really like Ryza I was like, you know what, fine, <laughs> take my money <laughs> Take my money Ryza, take my money, money Koi Tecmo Cold, take my money God, uh, Gus Because you really, because I really, really enjoy the Atelier Ryza series in general So, you know what I might as well just buy the, the, the figurine as well. Then once I'm done um, looking around uh, the area for the event for a short while, but by the time I reach to the, the stage area, the entire stage area was literally packed with a ton of people. Like you get long, it's literally full. You can say it's full. Like I, you know, the the entire if stage area is full. And by the time the idols came over, the crowd, I kid you not, the crowd literally went nuts for a period of 30 minutes when they were performing. The crowd went absolutely nuts. It's literally about the same level as the JKT48 performance that I attended last year at Animagaki 2023. It was that crazy. The crowd literally went nuts for a good 30 minutes. So. Okay, I get I get the appeal, but unfortunately, I didn't really enjoy the concert as much as uh, other people because I li was literally recording the entire freaking uh, uh, concert. Fortunately, I managed to have a uh, have a stand, and I was at a good spot where I don't have to abrupt people's view. So I was really at a good spot where I was standing right behind the wolf, so that I so that I don't have to think about blocking other people's view. So long story short, I was sitting right behind you, 
I was already holding my, my, camera, my phone camera, which is the Infinix GT20 by the way, and I was recording at 4K 60fps. Um, back camera, main, cam main camera 4K 60fps. So for a good period of uh, 30 minutes, I was recording the entire uh, concert because from 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 where I'm standing, I couldn't really like have a good view of um of their performance, but at least my camera does. So I think that's pretty much my, my thoughts on um, day two. So day three, I don't have to go there early. I I'll try my best to be there right after lunch because according to the event schedule over here, Avant will be performing at 2 p.m. I definitely need to check that out because Avant Garde is one of the reasons I decided to come over to Cosmic. So I will definitely check that out. And whether I don't think I'll be recording their session, maybe maybe a bit, maybe just a tiny bit, maybe just a tiny bit. But I definitely will be checking out their performance without a shadow doubt because, dude, these are the people that perform in the finals of last year's America's Got Talent. So I really, really need to check that out. And as a matter of fact, right, if they perform the, if they use the song from um, Yoasobi's um, I, Yoasobi's Idol. That would be cool, but if they perform the Alamak song, I will lose my goddamn mind. Like, I kid you not, I will lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I think that's pretty much wraps up uh, my thoughts for day two. I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna have my dinner, and I'm gonna get some sleep, and then see you all in day three. Alright, it is day 3 of Cosmic 2024 So the idea for today is that I'll be checking out Avant Garde's performance at 2pm if I'm not mistaken I might have to check with the schedule later on Without further ado, let's jump right over to day 3 of Cosmic 2024 This um, Astro Pod, uh, the booth right over here, as you can see at the back right over here. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to try out the game because apparently, if you want to try the game, you have to do this um, stamping mission, which I'm generally not interested in doing so. But at, at the very least, like, I, well, while I was checking out the booth, there was at least, there's a transfer of kids trying out the game, which is kind of nice. I mean, as a matter of fact, right, Astro Pod is technically a game for all ages especially for kids so it's kind of a nice thing that there are, are kids around here checking out the, the game so this uh, as for as for itself i have a feeling that this is going to be game of the year potential game of the year for 2024 it's kind of unfortunate that i wasn't able to, uh, to play this game because i don't own a playstation 5 but i really hope that personally i hope that astro board wins game of the year this year I'm so sorry, FF7 Rebirth. But then again, if FF7, if FF7 Rebirth wins Game of the Year this year as well, I'm not really, I'm not really upset. But to be real, I believe it's best that Astro Bot wins um, Game of the Year this year because it's a for a game that requires that that, that is made by a team of um, 60 people and that is short, which takes like about 15 to 20 hours to get a platinum for my understand yeah and as a matter of fact it's been ages since we've seen this kind of, of a game um, on this current era so if Astro Bot wins game of the year this year it, it's a message to not only the small devs but a message to Sony as well so that's pretty much my thoughts on um, Astro Bot and I'm just waiting, I'm just hoping for the day that, that, that I might get a PlayStation 5 sometime later in the future, but we'll see how it is. And as a matter of fact, right, I've been hearing a lot of um, negative uh, reviews regarding the 
the review of the PlayStation 5 Pro, so that's another, that's that. Still, I'm really hoping that Astrobot means Game of the Year this year. That's my personal thoughts. Meow. Uh, it might be. I might head back to the cosmic event or I might be look around a little longer so in the meantime enjoy more producers of um from me. Alright dudes, um, the Avant Gate uh, special appearance is just, just over and as a matter of fact, I really lost my voice because the, the amount of screaming I had during the entire special appearance was I screamed way too many times to the extent I lost my voice and as a matter of fact, if you can see right behind me, there's just way too many people gathering on us because as you can see, right, Avant Gate right around over here is having a, a mini meet and greet session around here so, as much as I love them, of course, but unfortunately there's just way too many people over there, unfortunately. But still, I would say this. Their performance, 10 out of 10. No questions asked, no debate, 10 out of 10. And as a matter of fact, they just announced that they will be coming back to Malaysia on the 22nd of December at Zip Kuala Lumpur. It's an, it's an 80 minute um, performance from my understanding, so get your tickets at the uh, official social media, Facebook and Instagram from my understand. In the meantime, I'm going to take a break and we'll see how things goes from here now. And that wraps up day 3 of my vlog of Cosmic 2024 and as you can notice I, I kind of lost my voice probably thanks to well, the amount of shouting that I did when doing the Avant Garde special performance like I said 10 out of 10 that performance is, was a 10 out of 10 no questions asked and with that I think that wraps up my vlog for Cosmic 2024 and now I'm gonna pack up my stuff, even though it's um, it's still day three as a matter of fact, I'm still wearing this. And it's like 4 4.42 pm as a matter of fact. But I really done what I needed to do over here, so I might just I might just might as well just take my things up, get the heck out of here and head back to my hometown, which is 200 kilometers from here, but but I, I don't see any reason for me to stick around here any longer. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a, it was quite an interesting um, cosmic this year to say the least. Although the only gripe that I had uh, with cosmic festival was um, during day one, where how they arranged the um, how they arranged the meet and greet session. That was that was my only gripe. But other than that, it was quite a decent a decent ACG event. I would say this. I'm not sure whether I'll be back next year or not. But I would say this. They bring in a voice actor next year. Um, I mean, I'm one hundred percent in. Right, and as a matter of fact, right, if they bring in a a big name like um like what they did last year, where they brought in if they bring in big names like Burnout Syndrome or KLP Forty Eight, even though KLP Forty Eight is technically local for from where I see it, or Avant Garde. 
<laughs> like one day did um, earlier today. I mean, I, I might be in, but if they bring in voice actor in into the event, I'm 100% without shadow of a doubt. Overall, it was, it was uh, I say it's a really decent event. I, like, once again, but like, like I said, if you bring in a voice actor, I will, I will come over with the next year without a shadow of a doubt. Alright. I'm gonna go clean up, I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna go wrap up my stuff over here. And then, um, well, thank you just for watching. I'll be I'll be back for more videos like this. And I'll be with you guys. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to edit this video because I'm the only all those videos on my channel. I'm the only one editing. No one else. I'm the only human that is editing all those videos on my on this channel on my channel to be precise were edited by me and only me. So I have no idea how it's going how long it's gonna take. And I, I don't know how good it's gonna be. I humbly open up the if the video doesn't look as look just looks good to you guys because um here's the, because here's the thing, this is technically my very first time doing a vlog and probably my last time because uh, normally I would just sit in, at, at home um, recording videos of reaction or me playing games most of the time. I rarely go out um, record videos doing a vlog at all. Something like that. Hopefully, you will turn out good. But anyway, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be back without, we'll be back for more videos without a shout out. Until then, thank you just for watching. I'll be back and I will see you guys in the next video.